I'm Russ Bastino, and this is Russ Cam. So you and I are talking, man. You used to use uh, our active reports a ways back, huh? Back, yeah, back when it was like data dynamics. Um, um, I remember hearing it from uh, from Cal, actually, at Dynamic Rocks, and uh, we were we were in need for a standalone uh, uh, reporting tool. So um, remember hearing on Dynamic Rocks. So boom, went and bought it and set it up. Yeah. You know, it, it's I don't think there's nothing like it right now on the market. I, you know, something that you can just like literally out of the box, have your own reporting system, um, out of box in, in in app. You know, not having to go into a separate system and do that. So I think it's a you know, great product. For all our Windows applications, we always use the Active Reports. Yeah. It's easy and friendly and, and simple to use for developers. Yeah. So for many years, even before that. So. I use uh, Farpoint Spread. It was good. I mean, we yeah. were building uh, this uh, uh, tax uh, software. The auditors actually go on site, enter the data, uh -huh. and can remotely sync into the uh, uh, master headquarter. They go to every location, mm -hmm. they collect the data there, and then sync it back with the corporate uh, software. I've been uh, developing a .NET application since the beta. Been using Active Reports almost that entire time. Uh, my client uh, that uh, I use it for is still using .NET 1.1, so I'm still <laughs> on the Active Reports 3. The company I worked for a few years ago, we took uh, the spread component and set out to use it the way you're supposed to use it, the ASP.NET 1, and, and essentially we set out to kind of build a spreadsheet-like, Excel-like experience on the web, yeah. and what we ended up doing was uh, allowing our end users to upload spreadsheets, and we use Spread as a total back-end engine for doing calculations and everything, because we would kind of let the user enter in a few numbers, and we were actually needing the calculations, so we could actually let Spread kind of be the go-between on all that, which was really cool. I've actually used Active Reports and uh, Farpoint. One of my one of my clients uses both. Oh, really? Yeah, they love it. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's, that's cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. They uh, definitely. Uh, uh, I, I helped them. So we saw the development of that last year, and they, they love Farpoint and uh, the, the Active Reports. Well, oh, that's good. The Farpoint spread, and then uh, yeah, the uh, Active Reports actually was. Um, uh, enabled for Silverlight now. So oh, the really? Silverlight viewer, yeah, version 6. When I first started .NET, I started using uh, Active Reports and uh, really fell in love with it. It was easy to use, uh, yeah. it was straightforward, it was flexible. Uh, it served all my needs, both in the Windows uh, and the web environment. I got uh, introduced to Spread. Well, you did. Yeah, you were telling me you use Spread. What kind of application is it? It's a tool for a manufacturing uh, company. And what it does is it'll create uh, a bill of materials that the, uh, the uh, manufacturer can use to create its products. You just told me you are an active reports user. You did it in, in the last yeah, application. Within right? the past three years, I, I used it for the three years up to now. Uh -huh. um, and it was great. Uh, much easier than Crystal and easy to use, easy to learn, and our customers love it. It was a much lower barrier of entry. Oh, okay. It's way easier to learn as a newbie coming in. Ease of use. Yeah. The active analysis component represents a level of advancement that I had not seen before in what we could call it still a component. Yeah. Uh, develop, deplo deploying that kind of full fledged uh, user interface yeah. uh, for a web application. Or That's what blew me away when I started using it. It was like, <laughs> wow, this is a component, component and, exactly. and, 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 and it's it's doing all this for me. It can drill down into the data, change colors, uh, change shapes, change metrics, change attributes. I mean, it's just so... It's all done. Schema building. I mean, that's all done. Really crazy. <laughs> I've been using the Active Report for at least 10 years. 10 years, wow. We use it a lot. I can export to either Excel or PDF. Yeah. But our client or our user love that very, very much. We, yeah. we, we appreciate that. <laughs> that's good. I built a restaurant program, uh, a POS system. You go into a restaurant just like uh, the one we're in at the moment. Yeah. Uh, the cash register. You hit the buttons and while you're doing your sales, uh, the management wants to do reports. 
All right. So we use active reports to create our ongoing reports for each restaurant. Active analysis is fantastic. Yeah. I actually think it's a great tool for developers to be able to show their companies yeah. on how to do BI. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of companies that want to do BI and there's a lot of tools out there that are expensive. This is what I thought was an, a, a, an affordable tool yeah. for, for uh, smaller companies. That's right. So it's a great tool to show to the big, to, to a corporation and say, here, this is what we can do for you. Now you guys can do it on your own. That's right. And also, it really helps, I think, in the whole back-end design also because you can see what's available through just a relational oh, database. And then you can start creating your OLAB cubes, you know, from that. So The whole idea is creating the cubes yeah. and then letting the user go on and manipulate his own data, which is what they love to do. And how's like the, the, the graphics, huh, on top of oh, the data? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. They, you, you can see uh, with the charting uh, and with the graphs, you can see and, and compare how businesses are doing. For instance, in the business I'm working in, uh, you have multiple properties. As, as a property management company, you could take multiple properties and see who's spending the most money on a certain item, uh -huh. and how are they saving money. So it's oh, a great, great. Save cost saving. Well, yeah, I've used Active Reports for a long time. It's really been one of my tools of choice, not only for myself personally, but also when I've managed a team or when I've gone in and consulted with a team. I've kind of used it uh, with those teams. Recently, I introduced a team to it by saying, we need to choose a new reporting tool. So here's a few options. You guys go use the tools and come back and tell me which one that you want to stick with. Right. And they actually came back to me and said, we want to use Active Reports for Why a lot of that? different reasons. It was, yeah. uh, it was easy to use right out of the box, uh -huh. uh, really, really easy, to co easy to configure, easy to pull data into, and they really liked the capability to take some existing crystal reports that they had and pull those crystal reports in, and Active Reports converts that. Oh, really? So there's a converter for that? It was a great feature, and we, we, we love it. So. Oh, that's good, because I know a lot of folks are using Crystal, and uh, may, they might be looking for something a little bit easier to use, like sure. you said. We started with Active Reports in 2003. Uh, it's one of our mainstays in terms of products for reporting. One of the reasons why we like it is not only does it have a rich tool set and a great way to do re reports, but uh, I don't have to deal with any runtime royalties. I just license it per developer, which is a great deal. Um, you know, when you look at some of the competitors out there, um, Active Reports is the best one out there. Uh, they've got great support, good people. Uh, they continually improve the product, and we really like the product, and we'll continue to use it. We've been using Active Reports uh, uh, for years now, back when Data Dynamics had, and, and now since uh, Grape City has, uh, has picked it up. And it's a fantastic tool. Rather than reinventing the wheel, we get all this great functionality right out of the box. And so you get slick, easy reports uh, for your clients, giving them real business value. Uh, without taking a ton of development time in order to, to build these uh, build these reports. Bitwiz has been in business for 11 years, so back in 2000 we started. Crystal was a big portion of it, and I think it was 2002, 2003 when we were looking at active reports, it was just a much easier tool. Uh, uh, as, as, as it's evolved, we don't really use Crystal much at all. It's, it's pretty much exclusively active reports. We do some SQL Server reporting services uh, as well, and, and active reports, that's pretty much the mainstay of our reporting capabilities. We find that active reports is a very useful tool, it's very easy. We uh, In the past, I had actually worked in uh, Access and doing Access reporting, and the transition into Active Reports was very, very simple. Really? So it was pretty easy to use? Yeah, very much so. You put a connection string, get your things, your reports set up, shape them, and you're all set. And actually, we've had done things where we've created report services based on uh, Active Reports and actually put that out as well. And we are able to handle uh, thousands of customers with that mm -hmm. reporting solution. We can actually handle thousands and thousands of customers and build a, a very, very large 100-page mm -hmm. reports using Active Reports. Did you say you used uh, some of our proxy for the active reports I have, or I have spread? Actually, yes, yeah, got a lot out of them. Yeah, um, hoping to revisit them again soon for a project coming to you. Uh, I used active reports uh, when I worked for uh, Software Technology Incorporated Automobile. They write K12 administrative software in. We did some pretty funky stuff with their uh, reporting tool. I used Active Reports back uh, from starting VB6. Wow. And went from VB6 into .NET uh, back in the day and uh, really enjoyed it. It's um, great compared to Crystal Reports and things like that, so that instead of having to figure out where all the code is, it's all there right there for you to see, and you can work with your code just the way you want to. Oh, well, that's great. And did you export to like PDF or anything like that? Yeah, I export to PDF, I export to Excel, uh, HTML, all those fun kinds of things. It's only a couple lines of code and it's real easy. Go to gvtv.gcpowertools.com, your online source for developer news. Plus, follow us on Twitter and Facebook.